There are many curious things found throughout recent years found within images taken by Google Earth, with some being particularly peculiar, one such find being that of a seemingly frozen ship measured at 400 feet long. It is as if it were picked up and planted upon this enormous block of frozen ice within Antarctica. Dismissed by some as simply being that of a naturally formed block of ice, yet the resemblance to a cruise liner is unquestionably uncanny. If indeed a ship like the one we have covered previously, an old lifeboat found in the 70s within an inescapable lagoon within the interior of Bouvi Island, one of the most inhospitable and remote places on Earth, ravaged almost yearly by storms, with no explanation as to how it arrived there. This ship would undoubtedly raise similar questions. Some conspiracy theorists even putting forward the posit that it is possibly the remnants of a Nazi vehicle, a theory linked to a base long claimed to have been created down here during the Second World War. Whatever the answer, questions regarding this curious find remain. Could this really be a ship literally frozen solid in an almost impossible location? And if so, where did it come from, and how did it get to where it rests now? We find this discovery highly compelling. During the last few years, reports have begun to circulate regarding a joint team of American and European explorers in the Antarctic. Around 20 kilometers across the Antarctic border, this team of non-governmental explorers actually confirmed the existence of a set of three ancient stone block pyramids peering out from beyond the shrinking ice. The preliminary finding was even published in the press, yet all subsequent information on the find has been silenced. Possible aerial photographs of the location may have been leaked, as there are some very compelling images of pyramidal ruins in Antarctica now circulating the web. American and European governments have attempted to shrug off the accusations as absurd. However, as more and more specialists are converted by substantial evidence within Egypt as to the sheer age of the Sphinx and pyramids, many researchers now conclude that these huge ancient structures found around the world were most likely built prior to the last ice age. Additionally, fossilized ancient palm tree pollen has been found in numerous sites within Antarctica, confirming it was once much warmer than it is today, making it highly possible that past civilizations did indeed inhabit this now frozen continent. The Pyre Rees map is another compelling piece of artifactual evidence to suggest that past cultures had an intimate knowledge of the Antarctic coast before it was coated in ice. A map built from the vast ancient literature once housed and subsequently destroyed in the wrecking of Alexandria's library, knowledge which could have proved the existence of this past culture. Ancient pyramidal sites dot every continent of Earth, the only continent governments strongly deny the existence of any ancient ruins whatsoever is Antarctica. Just what are they hiding in Antarctica? There just happens to have been some very strange visitations to the Antarctic as of late. In the past year alone, countless top officials from Russia, America, religious groups, and other official bodies from around the world have been quietly visiting the continent in succession, with no substantial reasons for their visits being given. Have they found an ancient city perfectly preserved in the ice? Maybe an ancient advanced technology, maybe even a stargate. The question is, Will we ever be told? Our conjecture that there is a lost yet once highly advanced ancient civilization could be proven beyond doubt by one continent in particular. Antarctica, for many millennia, this land has been encased, perfectly preserved, laying beneath miles of ancient ice. The Piri Rees map, something which we have discussed in the past, has long been argued to prove just that long claimed as showing that of the landmass of Antarctica free of ice. If true, it would have been impossible to have created, according to modern paradigm, thought to have originated from the embers of the great fire of Alexandria, this catastrophe a tragic loss to man's understanding of our own origins. Yet this map survived 
clearly displaying what many believe to be the continent of Antarctica, before becoming what is now a frozen ice cap at the pole of our planet. It is now an incredibly inhospitable place, one of the reasons we feel there may be intact, undisturbed ruins which may dot the land, known to be the driest place on Earth. And in addition to this compelling possibility of submerged yet highly advanced ruins, there may be many other unexplained anomalies that, due to their incredibly remote geographical placement, across some of the world's now most impenetrable natural obstacles recording some of the lowest temperatures on Earth, if proven beyond doubt to exist, would be proof of a preserved pre-Ice Age existence for advanced man. Yet due to this immense cold, and the fact that it is a largely unexplored tundra capable of killing even the most experienced of explorers, many things which rest here remain unexplored. Yet just like that of the face of the moon, one must ask the question, just what could be laying there, buried within or resting upon this giant ice sheet many miles deep? Objects just like the anomalies discovered in Roswell, New Mexico in July 1947, which, although strongly argued by officials as that of a United States Army Air Force's balloon which crashed at tremendous velocity at a ranch near Roswell, which many claim was in fact a UFO which crashed, would inevitably be covered up by whatever power was capable of not only visiting such anomaly, but retrieving it. Crashing into the seemingly endless tundra, and our next item of interest could behold just as controversial in origin as that of the causation for what many claim as the Roswell Conspiracy, a truth so controversial only top military personnel would be privy to. This remarkable image taken by satellite clearly displays an as yet unexplored anomaly. Resting at the basin of a hilltop, it presumably crashed into, with its velocity upon impact sliding the mysterious object down the side of the mountain. When other such objects have been discovered in the past, indeed in the same way as that of amateur sleuths, poring over satellite images looking for these exact features, military vehicles have been later snapped at these same locations, unquestionable proof of the world's government's interest in such discoveries, not only due to the environment, but also its remoteness. Found in permanently frozen areas could mean that if such objects do indeed turn out to be that of an alien craft, could also be in a condition to be successfully reversed engineered if not repaired by man. A technological explosion would inevitably occur, a lucrative operation indeed. So we find it curious that several such events have been claimed to have occurred since 1947. Could this also be posited to be as a result of this exact claim scenario? Discovered, retrieved, reverse engineered, and finally either adapted for military purpose or commercial profits? What is this thing laying far away in the frozen Antarctic? Is it indeed a crashed alien vehicle? We find the anomaly highly compelling. In July 2012, a curious Google Earth image was discovered by Russian UFO researcher Valentin de Tarive. The image quickly made its way around the media, with varying reactions. Andrew Fleming from the British Antarctic Survey told the UK newspaper The Mail Online that the object was clearly a simple crevasse in the ground. They can be tens of meters deep, nothing unusual, it's certainly not a UFO. Well it seems he may be right, however, an image purporting to be from the same site taken one year earlier has been uncovered. Researchers looking at previous satellite images of the same site taken in April and December 2011, found what appear to be four massive vehicles parked in the snow, pointed towards a mysterious object. There appears to be more than a simple crevasse going on in this image. What appears to be going on is that a huge scientific research center has been deployed to a meaningless location in an icy desert which just so happens to be by an object and strange feature in the ice that looks all for the world like a crashed aircraft pattern only for it to completely vanish a year later. What should we make of these earlier satellite images? 
While some reports identify the shapes as tanks, if they really are vehicles, they're massive in size, probably around 70 feet in length. There are no tire tracks, but they could have been covered by snow or blown away. They look more like research centers, also note the drift patterning around them towards the object, is this camouflage canvas, why are all the drifts in the same direction and none on the other side of the vehicles? Is it a crashed alien craft? If it was, I would have definitely filled in the hole afterwards.